and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabella and I make lifestyle figure skating and vlog content and I'm so happy to have you. Happy spring, y'all. I feel like a little bit of warm weather has finally started making its way in. So I'm getting very excited and hyped for the summertime and just the fun days ahead. Anyways, welcome to my little windowsill. Today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me and get to know me tag in a way. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done any sort of introductory thing on my channel. Um, yeah, really hasn't actually formally happened. I kind of just made a little quirky video when I first started making YouTube videos, but that was over three years ago. So I feel like it's time has come. Here's my little updated version. But anyways, I've gathered a few funky little questions and I thought that I would just get ready for youth group tonight and have a little fun chat session. But I'm very excited to be bringing y'all along. So before we get into it, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out and let's get into it. First things first, I'm gonna be wearing this little tank top tonight with some white overalls. I am just wearing some shorts right now. I'm going to change into these later because they are white, so I want to keep it that way. Don't want to get any makeup on it. Um, but anyways, thought I could start off the video by saying hi. Um, if you haven't already established this, my name is Isabella. People call me Bella, Izzy, some sort of variation of that, so just feel free. Um, I'm currently a freshman and I live in beautiful mountainous Colorado and some of my hobbies include figure skating, I'm getting into some basketball, and I play the piano. I also really love doing like random little creative things if I get the chance. I feel like in these get ready with me's I put on way more makeup than I actually wear in real life so I'm gonna try and keep this very tame and very realistic with a little extra flair because why not I actually just did my state testing this morning and i gotta say it went a lot better than it did last year at least for me personally how i feel last year i had to do three days straight of testing but today i only had to do a little half morning of it and i think it went pretty well so i'm happy about that um, but the first thing I'm going to use, I don't use this on the day to day, but I thought it'd be fun. Sort of pick off some of this warm weather. This is the e.l.f. little like glow filter. This isn't foundation, but it's more so like this undercoat and it gives you just a little bit of glow. So I'm going to just dab this into some random little places. This is also the time for me to say that I am not a beauty guru and I have no clue what I'm doing. I kind of just make it up as I go along so that's that anyways alrighty moving into my little list of disco ball questions I thought I'd make this little list of questions because a it gives me a little pattern to follow and I also thought that these were a little bit more funky and different from what everyone typically does in a get to know me tag so let's do it Next step is my tried and true, my favorite blush of all time. I've had this for over a year and a half now and it is amazing. This is the Rare Beauty little liquid blush in the shade Happy and I just, I love this shade and I think a little blush can be just sweet and happy. So highly recommend. Anyways, the first question is, when did you start wearing makeup? Um, this one's kind of funny to me. So, so when I was growing up, I did competitive dance. So I literally started dancing when I was like two years old. Um, my mom signed me up for those little toddler ballet classes, if you know what I'm talking about. And I started doing dance competitions probably around six or seven. I think I was in like first kindergarten or first grade. So that was when I started wearing it because we were required to wear it for our shows and competitions. It was a little bit extreme, but it did 
sort of give me a grasp on learning how to do makeup a little bit. So yes, while I am definitely not super enriched on makeup skills, it did give me some bearings on that. Moving on, my next question is, if you were an object, what would you be? I actually know the answer to this question very well. Um, we had it as a little icebreaker question in our English class once, and I thought really long and hard about it. But if I were an object, I would be hot pink nail polish. There you go. A little weird, a little bright, a little crazy, but I just did a little bit of highlighter. Gotta have a little bit of that glitter life as an homage to my dance competition days where we had so much glitter eyeshadow. Um, but this is my favorite from Fenty Beauty. It's Kilowatt Highlighter Hustler Baby. Someone gave me this and I've been using it for a hot minute. It's all cracked up and everything, but Rihanna knows what she's doing with all her makeup. Anyways. Moving on, I have what color do you like the most? So my tried and true favorite color since I was little is pink, um, hence the pink nail polish thing. I just think it's such a bright and fun, happy color and, but I do go through phases where I like other colors. So lately I've kind of been into more muted summer colors. Like the colors on the shirt are probably a color palette that I would be more grasping towards recently. Um, but I also do love purple, which speaking of, I am drinking a little matcha latte out of my purple cup. So cheers. Moving on, we have what quote inspires you? I can't think of a whole ton off the top of my head, but I do have a Bible verse that I love. It is in Proverbs and it is kind words are like honeycomb. I honestly think that's just a virtue that I like to live by. Be kind, kindness is the way. There we go. Next up, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I have never really done this consistently until like this year. Um, I still don't know how I fully feel about it. I'm not really like an eye makeup kind of gal. I don't like mascara, although I do wear it sometimes for fun. Um, but yeah, most of the time I just do this. It is kind of a weird sensation and takes a little bit of getting used to and tweaking, but I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? Hello, motorcycle. Anyways, next question is what would you tell your elementary school self? Okay. This is, a, this is gonna get a little sentimental. Um, I had kind of a weird elementary, lots of things happened at my school and it's just definitely, like the later years were probably not some that I would love to relive, but did teach me a lot. I think if I could go back and tell myself just, just a little like word, like food for thought. Um, I think I would just tell her to hang in there, stay true to your moral compass and just be more brave and outgoing because those who truly accept you for who you are are those worth keeping in your life. So there we go, a little sappy moment by me for your day, but yeah, that's probably what I would tell her. Okay. Next question, while I try to decide what jewelry and just random stuff I want to wear, I've had this little smiley face necklace from Francesca's for so long. And I feel like I don't wear it enough, so I might wear this today. I'm not totally sold, but it's cute. That goes down a little too low. Anyways, while I'm finagling with this, the next question is what is the last text you sent? Hey y'all, I have my phone. It is time to go through my text messages. The last text I sent, that is kind of a tongue twister, was I'll have to get a decent seat, LOL. There you go. I'm debating on whether or not I want to wear these glasses. I like to call these my Edith glasses. If you've ever seen Spider-Man Far From Home, there you go. Oh wow, they're super smudged. I, I don't, I mean, they're cute, but they are a little quirky, so. 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll, this will be a last minute game time decision, if you know what I mean. Um, but moving on into a few, to the last few questions. <clears throat> the next one is, what is my favorite pair of shoes? I purchased this pair of yellow high top Converse last year. And they were like my first pair of Converse that I bought in so long, ever since I was like in maybe fourth grade. And I just love them with my whole heart. They're very beat up now, but I still wear them and they're very cute and I love the color. And they're just super bright and happy, which I just, I love that vibe. So had to get those. Anyways, guys, final two questions. I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip balm. My lips are so chopped. Anyways, for the final two questions, and put on a little bit of lip balm here anyways next one is what is the last song that i listened to this should give you a little glimmer of my music taste if you will oh the last song that i listened to was since you've been gone from guardians of the galaxy volume 3 trailer it's my favorite little trilogy in the mcu so i'm just kind of getting excited for the third movie to come out but there you go. Only like one person is gonna know what this means, but boom, boom, boom. Anyways, I don't know why I just did that, but there you go. Final question before I head out to youth group. I think I'm gonna stick with the messy braids. I'm here for it. I always like to bring a little backup layer for church because I feel like the auditorium, it's a little bit chilly. So I'm gonna just toss on this little like jacket cover up. I wear this thing like a little too much, but that's fine by me anyways the last question is this one's really random my mom actually gave me the idea to put this in here but it is the first thing question is what is the first thing that you notice in someone okay this is like my favorite little thing about people i love people's eyes i think eyes are really just pretty and you can really see how someone feels through them my mom has a saying where like the eyes are the key to someone's heart like not necessarily saying like romance but you can just like see and feel their emotions through that i don't know if that makes a whole ton of sense but definitely the eyes and like you know when you're looking at someone you want to look them in the eyes so i feel like that's definitely like a focal point that you see in someone when you first meet them or when you are talking to them etc